What about this young man who's filming this video, Tim? Oh, Tim Fairmouth. Uh, excellent, excellent football coach. Played at Springfield College. That's why we wanted him. Uh, they run the triple option. They know what they're doing. I mean, everybody at least Springfield ends up getting jobs at other places. So he's really helped us with our offensive line, and we're glad he's here. All right, listen, you know, he happens to be from the Boston area, so anytime you think Boston and you have a young man who was there when Terry Francona did Brighton native, hometown yeah. again, got that World Series, you have to talk about Terry Francona with the significance of Poe coming to town. A lot of people think of Terry as a great baseball player. He was, but he was a good golfer. He was a great basketball player. If I'm not mistaken, he actually led the whip you, I think, in junior year he in did. sport. Why, why was he just such a gifted athlete? Did well, his dad play football as a quarterback? I, it, it, his dad, I mean, he grew up around it. He, he, I'm convinced he would have been a Division One receiver. Hmm. Really? Yes. There's no question. Well, you know, a great story, Neil Walker, who ended up playing in Pine Bush and was a receiver, actually, you know, played Major League, still sure. in the New York Yankees, um, was actually recruited by UCLA to be a wide receiver. Yes, he would have been Division One. Welcome back to This Is Your Life. Okay, now, let's get down to what you do best, and that is football. Trey Marshall named preseason second team All-American heading into his senior year. Uh, last year, uh, he was ninth in the entire Division Three football world, 1,520 yards, and he found the end zone 13 times, former slot receiver turned to a running back. Aggressive attitude, and you said he's a guy who loves to compete, and usually you don't find that when someone is a slot receiver having that aggressive nature, but he just really loves to play football, doesn't he? Oh, he did. And I mean, it was a, a great recruit for us coming out of Quaker Valley. Uh, and he's just a tremendous young man. His life story, honestly, could be made into a movie. We've talked about that. And, uh, and so far, his senior year is what he's doing with our younger guys as far as mentoring them and being a leader. We're very proud of him. Nine starters on the defensive side of the ball, eight on offense. Joe Shively, as we told you last week, who led the uh, pack in tackles last year. 9.6 per game is out for the season with that ankle injury. Wish him a speedy recovery. Uh, back linebackers, Torin Salas and Casey now. So now is the time, as you like to say. Talk about these two men. Our linebacker core, I mean, defensively, we're really excited about what we've got defensively. And our coaches have done uh, an outstanding job of, of, uh, of just tweaking our scheme. Um, I think you're going to see the biggest improvement in our football program on defense. All right, uh, Reed McGowan, uh, Brian Wyatt uh, returned to anchor the defensive line, and Zach Hall and Jamarcus Brumsky returned in the secondary. All told, 35 lettermen. Marietta head coach Andy Waddle is going to be there Saturday to play them uh, at the Don Drum Stadium to face the Pioneers, 7 o'clock kickoff. They were 6-4 and four last year in the Ohio Athletic Conference. Talk about your opponent. Ohio Athletic Conference probably in the top three in NCAA, if not the top conference. So they compete in a very, very difficult league. They beat some very good teams last year. Uh, they got the quarterback back, the young man from Aliquippa, and we're playing at their place. Uh, but I still like our kids. I like our focus. I like uh, their attitude of what they've done. I like the fact that we're unified as a football team. and. You know, it's going to come down to this. It will really come down to whoever, in the first game, it comes down to who makes the least amount of mistakes that wins the game. All right, folks, we'll be back every week Thursday with this man, Gino DeMarco. Don't forget, it is Saturday, 7 p.m. at Marietta, game one of 2018 for your Golden Tornadoes. Good night from Geneva College in Beaver Falls.